वेलकम टू एंड्रॉइड फार्मा टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट फार्मास्यूटिकल डोसेस फॉर्म्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल अबाउट इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ डोसेस फॉर्म्स विद दिस डोसेस फॉर्म्स इज मेनली हेल्पफुल इन फार्मास्यूटिक्स इन बी फार्म फर्स्ट सिलेबस फर्स्ट सेमेस्टर फार्मास्यूटिक सब्जेक्ट इन दैट दिस इज सेकंड टॉपिक इज अबाउट डोसेस फॉर्म्स कमिंग टू दिस डोसेस फॉर्म्स नॉर्मली यू नो व्हाट we have to know about what is dosage first and what is drug so when the drug is converted in the form of dosage normally it will convert in the form of any form whether it is a solid form or whether it is a liquid form or whether it's a semi solid form okay before going to this what uh, dosage forms normally what is drug drug is nothing but what it is used to helpful for treatment cure prevention and also for the treatment of diseases and also cure of diseases for the both what animals and human beings in doses form doses form normally mainly consists of what doses forms are no normally consists of normally consists of what ma drug molecules in short drug molecules are nothing more what see the drug molecule and the more what active pharmaceutical ingredient api or we also call as what ma this is the active drug that is mainly present to shows the therapeutic activity okay to the site of action and to produce a optimum desired effect with minimum adverse effect why you need doses forms normally doses forms is nothing but what for the drug safety as well as benefit and also patient safety patient safety or benefit okay so here doses form and nothing more what see we can't we can't take directly drug into the route of administration okay we want to convert this drug with a suitable excipients what is excipients see api is nothing more what drug okay excipients are nothing but what my excipients or non api or non active components excipients or we also called as what my ingredients okay or we'll call as anything additives or in liquid or some we'll call as vehicles normally drug is used for what the chemical compound that is used for diagnosis treatment prevention of disease in human beings as well as in animals okay veterinary news so normal excipients are nothing but what excipients are nothing but what this is going to increase but it does not affect the therapeutic activity that is present in the api okay excipients are nothing but what they are non active components so when you combine with api and excipients they converts in the form of what ma dosage form they converts in the form of dosage form it is no inactive ingredients are nothing but what this is the inert excipients so here they go, they include what uh, they include preservatives they include flavoring agents they include sweetening agents they include what uh, coloring agents etc so to prepare any doses form normally drugs we can't so why we can't take drugs ma drugs they may be in bitter taste they may be in uh, foul order okay foul order uh, they can't the drugs which are uh, with moisture condition so in these conditions what happens uh, the drug may be mactant or suppose if you take api drugs like potent drugs what is potent drugs and what is non potent drugs see potent drugs are nothing but what the drugs which are with low doses low dose in thing but what which is less than 50 mg okay here non potent we can take 500 mg tablet also but here 50 mg 
that low mg drugs are nothing but what more low mg or low mg doses from nothing but potent drugs so api can be uh depend with depending upon what ma depending upon administration these apis can be converted in the form of what ma doses form by using what ma excipients and ingredients or excipients or ingredients excipients are nothing but what non-active components apis are nothing but what active pharmaceutical ingredients okay so active pharmaceutical ingredients are helpful for chance of any modification in the pharmacokinetic profile what is pharmacokinetic see normally pharmacokinetic nothing but what when the drug you will take into the body it will go for what my absorption distribution metabolism and excretion okay so here i'm going to tell you about what ma what is doses form doses form is nothing but what any drug that converts in the form of doses form that is different than the doses form will be there but here there's a solid doses form liquid doses form and semi-solid doses form so here how we will prepare doses forms you will take the drug okay and drug is nothing but what for the treatment of diseases or prevention cure right so here when you take a drug, that's nothing more drug molecule, that's something we will call as active pharmaceutical ingredient. Okay, the drug that you use it for the shows the therapeutic activity, the drug that shows the pharmacological action. When you when you drug when you take the drug, what the drug will do, the drug will show the activity, right? So how the drug will take the activity we can't take directly drug powder or any substance we can't take because they may be in the bitter taste or they may be in the foul smell or they may be a what a moisture content they may contain humectant or moisture content so in that conditions they may absorb the or oxygen also so in that conditions we have to convert in the form of what ma? doses forms okay so here doses forms so normally if you take a drug with experience you'll get doses forms okay so what is the need of the doses forms so need of doses forms are nothing but what to provide a safe and convenient delivery of accurate doses example you see the doses forms may be what tablets okay capsules syrups uh what coated coated capsules sealed ampules and also c these are what these are some dose forms if some drugs if you take some drugs if you take the drugs may be with what ma if you take uh, tablets capsules setups or coated capsules or sealed ampules see these are the doses forms how you will take see you can't take uh you can't take uh, these uh, sealed ampules in a oral because normally depending upon the doses form there is a route of administration there is a route of administration so how many routes of administration is there first one is oral route second one is parenteral route third one is uh, topical route topical administration sorry topical administration okay so here see if you take orally the orally you can take tablets you can take capsules you can take uh, mm, uh you can take capsules tablets pills tubal tablets which are which are taking the orally okay what is parenteral that is nothing but what ma giving the drug in the form of what ma iv im subcutaneous okay okay intravenous intramuscular subcutaneous giving in the form of what no? parentals okay so these are what root of administration topical you know normally semi-solid preparations okay and you're having what suspensions you're having the solutions you're having emulsions these are what my different types of doses forms okay i'll tell you the classification of doses forms just to know about clear, clearly about what is doses form, what is drug, and what are the doses form, what is the API, what are the excipients, and how will convert the, how will convert in the form of doses forms. Okay, mainly to better the what paste and order of the drug substance we can conceal in the form of what capsules because the drug which is in a bitter taste we have to mask the bitter taste when having some foul smell or foul order so that conditions we have to mask the order of the drug substance we can't take right which is not acceptable okay next uh, so 
here there are semi solid dosage forms there is topical like what ointments creams gels jellies and also there is a nasal route of administration there is a suppository is there okay so those all comes in what more semi solid okay so normally you have another one which is what a dosage forms which are transdermal means nothing but what ma the drugs which are attached on the skin okay that's one of the patches implants okay that is provided placement of drug within the body tissues called as what ma implants and there is a what inhalants also okay and we have inhalers you know inhalers that will be there okay normally classification of doses forms classification of dosage forms what is the classification of dosage forms ma based upon route of administration based upon physical form so based upon root of administrations what based upon root of administration i will already told you oral route parenteral route topical route transdermal route inhalation respiratory inhalations ophthalmic ointments creams that is applied on the what ma i i that's called as optimal that must be very sterile condition and rectal suppositories vaginal suppositories and we having what ma we can have dental cones on so the dental cones will comes in oral only so these are what route of administration these are what different routes oral route parenteral route topical route transdermal route respiratory that's called as inhalation ophthalmic with the giving the application on the uh, eyes okay rectal root and vaginal root whereas based upon physical form see if by touching the substance we can identify whether it's solid or not okay that's having a shape that's having a physical activity that's having the what uh, shape and size okay and next one liquid doses form so liquid doses they don't have a shape and size they having the in the form of what volume depending upon the container the liquid will be having the volume okay that must be container the containers that is uh, filled with the liquids next one is what ma semi solid form okay and fourth one is gaseous form okay so these are what physical form which is a solid form solid doses form liquid doses form semi solid doses form and gaseous form okay so in next class i'll tell you about what about the classification doses forms like in the oral what we have what is the what is the, in the oral what the uh, doses forms that is available in solids okay in parentals what will available uh, like injections infusions and also topical route there's ointments gels creams chillies okay i'll explain in depth about the classification of doses forms in the next class thank you